Go ahead and try this question. A recursive sequence is different from an arithmetic and a geometric sequence. In an arithmetic sequence, to get each term, you have to add or subtract a common difference to generate each successive term. So for example, maybe they differ by five. So your sequence might look like one, six, 11, 16, and so on. In a geometric sequence, each term differs by a constant ratio, a multiple, or either you multiply the number by something, you divide it by something. So for example, let's say the common ratio, common multiple was five. And let's say your first term was one, well, you would have one, five, 25, 125, and so on. In a recursive sequence, each successive term is defined by some combination of the terms before it. So in order to generate every additional term, you have to look back at the previous terms and do something with them to figure out that next term. So in this question, a sequence can be defined recursively as follows. The first term is one, the second term is three, and every term, uh, starting from the third term and, and moving on, is defined by this rule. And the rule is as follows. The nth term you get that by taking the a, taking the n minus one term, in other words, the term right before the one you're looking for, and adding it to two times the n minus two term, in other words, the term two away from what you're looking for. So for example, in this question, if we're looking for the sixth term, we're going to be taking the fifth term and adding it to two times the fourth term. But of course, in order to get this, we need to figure out the fifth, we need to figure out the fourth which means we need to figure out the third, and we can hopefully start generating the third by using this rule and working forward. So really this kind of problem seems more complicated than it really is, this explanation. Really, you're just taking each term and using this rule to figure out the next one, and you keep going until you get to where you wanna go. So let's start by finding the third term. That's just gonna be the second term plus two times the first. Well, we've got those, those have been defined for us. And they would have to be defined for you because there'd be no way to find this otherwise. So it'd be three times two minus one or two times one. So this becomes five. Now the fourth term is gonna be the third term plus two times the second term. Again, we're just kind of moving ahead one unit. So now this is gonna be the third term and we're gonna multiply this by two and add them together. So in this case, it's going to be, well, we just, find, we just found the third term. It's five plus two times three, because that's the second term. This gets us 11. So the fifth term is going to be the fourth term plus two times the third. As you can see, it's just following a pattern. It's nothing that, that crazy. So it's 11 plus two times the third term, which we found as five. So this would be 21. And then the sixth term is going to be the fifth term plus two times the fourth. So in other words, 21 plus two times 11. So this is 22, 22 plus 21 is 43. And that's your answer. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.